My children tease me because they say I say everything's my favorite, but this block, it's really a favorite. It's a nine patch. It's a wonky star. I call it the twinkler star. And I just picked up the four that we're going to make the star points with. These five stay plain. So I'm going to lay one more out so you can see. I'm demonstrating this big in a minute. I'm going to show you how to make beautiful little six and a half inch ones. But these are bigger because I wanted you really clearly to see what to do. So these four, we're going to make the star points. And we're just going to do it kind of like we did when we made our triangle on one of my other tutorials. We just make them wonky. This is improvisational quilting. You just want to have a corner of one of the pieces sewn because these are going to be our star point. That's why I'm demoing it on these so that you can see where we're going. And later I'm going to show you how to streamline it so you can make a bunch of different scrappy blocks all at the same time without having to think about each individual block. Here's the other color. There's four of them. So one, two, three, four, as soon as I get them. And notice how I'm trying to angle them differently. I want the star points not to look the same. I want them to come out at different angles. So I press them open. I take my trusty scissors and I'm going to trim around them. I'm not going to trim them tightly because we trim them close later. So I'm just getting the fabric off so that I can use it to make the other points. So it doesn't matter. That's what we're doing here is getting them pressed and ready to go back and put the second point on this block. I always feel so happy when I'm sewing the second star point onto the block because this really looks like a complicated block. But when you realize that there's only four of the small blocks in the nine patch that you even have to fuss with, and then later we're just going to sew it together like a nine patch, it's just an amazing process to make this. I've done it in little tiny squares, one and a half inch squares. I made three and a half inch blocks for a really, really big quilt, and it was scrappy. And the one I did for a bedspread is six and a half inch. So that uses two and a half inch. And I'll show you that soon. Here I am pressing. And notice that I'm just pressing it and leaving it. We're going to go trim them up at the cutting board. I'm moving this so that I can trim these star point blocks. And I just trim them. I happen to have a four inch square and they're four inches. So I'm just going to trim around them. And then you'll watch as they fit right into the block. And the purpose of me doing this is so that you can see the block we're going to make because in a moment I'm going to streamline it. So you can see that we're making these wonky stars. All the little points come to a different place. There's different angles. They look like twinkling stars, don't they? I'm now going to show you the units that we're going to sew these blocks into. See how those two edges are interchangeable? They don't have to be facing any certain direction. They just have to be sewn like that. So the center units have the star points coming outside the center of the star. And then these side units all are the same. We sew the corner posts onto the edge of where they go, just like this. As long as you understand this, you'll understand what I'm going to show you next. We just need to keep the star points going in the right direction. Time to make our baby quilt. I get out my blue scraps. That's going to be the color of my stars. I get out the brown because the brown is going to be my background. And I'm going to cut two and a half inch background pieces. So we're making the twinkling star that I just showed you big, only this time we're going to make it in the size I love best, which is six and a half inch unfinished blocks. I take the four star background pieces and put them on the scraps that are going to make my star points. And you watch while I put the other four and the center in my little special tub. Because those don't need messed with and I'm going to get a whole quilt ready. I keep laying it out for you so that you can see. But really, you know that it takes four and a center. You put it there. Then you take four and you put it where you're going to have your star points. And if you're going to have more than one block, you just do the math for that. So here it is. I've cut out that many. I'm going to keep cutting them out till I have enough for my baby quilt. So here we go, getting it ready, organized. The ones in the tub I don't have to mess with. The other pile needs to go with me to the machine so that I can make our little star points. It's going to be really easy to match them back up when we're done making the star points. You can see at the back of my machine that they're all piling up. I literally do a whole bunch of them at once. I want them all to be done when I'm done. This is how I streamline it. 
as long as you have the background piece on top of the color that you're making the star points, you just keep going until you have them all. After you trim your star points to square, you match them up with their friends, their four background pieces in their center, and then I put them in a new tub so that every block is with its whole self. I made some scrap blocks that had two in each color, so that's what you see me doing here. I now separate them back out and they're ready to sew together. I'm sewing that center unit where the star points out and I have the center. And here are the side units, so I have to sew them on the sides. You saw that I put two tucked away behind my machine. That's so that I won't goof and I won't sew more than four side blocks. So here we go, sewing the corners parts, the corner pieces to their center piece. And then I'm going to cut those first two units that are the center units of the two blocks. And here I go to finish making that part of the unit. Because we know how the block goes together, it's not complicated and we can just sew every single block. So I have that whole tub ready with every block and I can just assemble every block at the machine without thinking or laying things out or having to hassle about it. Here, two more seams and I have all four of these side units sewn together ready to go. And I like to streamline my sewing. So after I sew these units together, then I'm going to trim them apart and I'll be able to match them up because my stars are different colors and my backgrounds are different colors. So I just put them in a big pile, press them all later. Here I am done, ta-da, magic of YouTube. I know you wish you could sew that fast. Here I'm taking them all over to my ironing board and I'm going to press them. And there is a best way to press them. For the center unit, you press towards the center so that the seams go into the center. And for the outside units, you press them so that the seams are facing towards the solid block, which is the corner block. And if you press them all that way, they're going to be so easy to sew together. I just stack them up. There's three units per block and I put them in their block units and stack them up and make a couple piles. Here I go, ready to sew my blocks together. It really is so streamlined and fast when you do it this way. I'm matching them up. I usually do about two blocks at a time, sometimes three or four, but for this I did two. And then I grab their little friend right there beside them and ta-da, I'm done with this first block. And it's it's got nothing else. It needs nothing else except to be pressed. I sew this next block and then I just reach forward and my stacks are there, ready to go. Every block is ready to go. And there's going to be 42 total quilt blocks that measure six and a half inch. Here I've laid them out and I'm just showing how nice they're going to fit together because you can turn them one half turn, the seams will fit perfectly. Oh, look, magic, it's quilted now and bound. And I love how they sparkle. I love the background. I love the gingham I put on it. I love the binding. I just love this quilt. Here's the bedspread I made for my king size bed. I made it two or three years ago when I needed some piece in my bedroom. And there it is. And now it's in the guest room. So if you come visit me, you get to sleep under this quilt. See how the random, uneven points make this block look like stars twinkling? I hope you make twinkling stars for yourself. Stay merry and creative.